No, your character has just lost his best friend, but of course he doesn't know that. Anything you can say about when he does find out, you know, what do you think his reaction would be? I think his reaction would be one of, well, because he's kind of a masochist and he's, and he's got such low self-esteem and he's been down on himself from day one because he's been blamed for everything that's wrong in his own life by his father. He'd take a stance of feeling to blame for it, even though he's not to blame for it. He'd think maybe if I was there, maybe there was something I could do. Maybe I could have tried to stop it. So he's, he's, he's got such masochistic tendencies and he's so, he despises himself on a fundamental level so much, he'll think that he was somehow to blame, I think. With uh, you know protecting Gilly and now wanting to train as a maester, is, is Sam more sort of like motivated and has like a mission more than he ever has this season? Yeah, I think so. I, I think that last season, season five, was when you saw him most on a mission. Because over the course of the 10 episodes, he knew what his goal was. He knew that he wanted to get John elected as Lord Commander, so he had the best chance of getting uh, baby Sam and Gilly out of Castle Black. Over the course of 10 episodes, you saw him achieve that, slowly but surely achieve that, got to a place where he was online to achieve his life's ambition. So as, as far as achievements were concerned, that was his biggest journey so far. Now he starts this season in a very, very positive place. But not being Game of Thrones, people aren't in positive places for very long. You know? Your character is now out on a journey. You know, anything you can say about where that might take her? Well, I can say that it will take her south. Yeah. It's not going to be north. Um, no, it's a really, um, it's a really, really interesting season for Gilly and Sam. Um, they're really kind of striking out on their own, and um, and they're going into what is for Gilly completely new territory. It's further south than she's ever been in her life, and um, I just, I had a lot of fun this year. It was a very different season from mm -hmm. anything I'd done before, and a lot of new new characters, new locations, and just new stuff in general. So. Yeah, because we've seen a you know very similar environments. I mean, the wall is the wall, but it's still you know the the it's, it's still cold, right? I mean, still yeah. cold, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, is it just for her? Is it really uh, kind of fish out of water a circumstance at this point with everyone she's encountering? Yeah, I think it's interesting this year. You see her; she is very much out of her comfort zone, but it's kind of it's more exciting than it is scary, mm -hmm. and that's really nice to see. And um, she's just—I mean, this girl; she's just like breaks my heart how much kind of excitement she has for each new thing that she sees she never she's never getting over the thrill of discovering new things and that's a really really beautiful thing i think and the bond between her and sam is you know a very sweet one on the show on a show that's lacking sometimes in sweetness is that yeah. continuing are they bonded even more because they are out there in the world together well i think they're a family now you know i think it's it's a very very it's become a really strong bond of unconditional love both between them and their love for the baby um, so I think they're, I think it's interesting, I think you kind of, you know, I think they were kind of in a, we've seen them get to know each other and now we've seen them in a place where they know each other very well and they're kind of, they're sure, they're more confident around each other, which I think is really nice. Mm -hmm.